of St. Matthew, chapter number 21. St. Matthew, chapter number 21. And I'm going to read into your hearing. I'm going to start at <clears throat> verse number 1. Anybody got me up there? Y'all got me? All right. God for praise. Yeah. All right, we're going to start reading that chapter 21, verse 1, and it reads, And when they drew nigh unto Jerusalem, <clears throat> and were come to Bethphage, unto the Mount of Olives, then sent Jesus two disciples, saying unto them, Go into the village over against you, and straightway ye shall find an ass tied, and a coat with her. Loose them, and bring them to me. And if any man say all unto you, ye shall say, Lord have need, the Lord have need of them, and straightway he will send them. Hallelujah. Bow your heads. Father, we thank you for your word. We pray that you deliver your word through power, through strength, through authority. We pray, Father, that you will brace your presence in this place today. Give your people a desire to hear your word, to act upon your word. We pray, Father, that those that are listening by way of the internet, that you will bless them, speak to their hearts, Give them encouragement wherever is needed. Bless their homes. Bless their families. Lord, speak to us, and we will be fed. In your mighty, precious name, somebody said, Amen. 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 <clears throat> Verse 2 says again, Saying unto them, Go into the village over against you, and straightway ye shall find an ass tied and a coat with her. Loose them and bring them unto me. I want to use for a topic today. God wants to use you, but you're all tied up. God wants to use you, but you're all tied up. We're in a situation now where people have their own personal agendas. People are into what they want to do. They're not willing to sacrifice. Somebody say sacrifice. I ain't hear nobody. Y'all must have whispered it. Hallelujah. People are not willing to sacrifice anymore. People are tied up into whatever they want to do. <clears throat> I got a friend, an associate, and I called him on the telephone and he his message, you know how you call a person and they leave a message. His message is said, said that I can't call you right now because I'm wrapped up, tied up, and tangled up in other affairs. I'll call you later. So people are wrapped up and tied up into whatever they want to do. But what we need to do is understand that we need to be loose from some things so we can have time for the Lord. Yeah. I don't know what you're wrapped up in, but sometimes people are wrapped up in bills. They can't clear their mind because they got so many bills staring them in the face. Some people are tied up into failed relationships. Their relationship is failing, and they can't seem to <clears throat> pull out of it and can't seem to find a way to get any relief from this failed relationship. Some people are tied up into anger, got anger problems, don't know how to deal with people because they get so angry. People are tied up with all kind of things, church hurt. Some people are so tied up in church hurt that they can't even do church anymore. Come on, give them praise. <clears throat> Wrapped up, tied up, and tangled up. But somebody wrote a song back in the day. 
that they was wrapped up, tied up, tangled up in the will of God and in doing what God wants them to do. Well, uh, Christ had sent these people down to a person that owned the, the, the donkey and the coat, the little coat that was with it, <clears throat> and told them to loose this coat because the Lord had need of it. Somebody's got to be willing to go to those that are lost. Somebody's got to be willing to take out time, untie yourself from all the things that got you tied down and be able to extend a hand to your neighbor. Come on, give him praise, somebody. <clears throat> Somebody's got to be willing to get untied. Uh, I don't know if, if anybody's in here has ever been tied up. You know, uh, anybody ever been arrested? Sometimes a person, they, they take your hands, and you've seen them on the TV, and put your hands behind your back, and, throw you up against the car and, and, and rough you up and then put the handcuffs on. Sometimes they don't just leave them loose, but they tighten them two or three clicks uh, beyond what they need to be tightened. Well, the enemy is tightening down the rope on people. Tying folks up to where they don't have time. You know, uh, uh, I was talking to an individual about getting saved one time, and he said, well, I'm going to come when I make up my mind. Yeah. Well, my friend, you don't have time to make up your mind. You got to make it up. You got to make your mind up. You got to force your mind into doing the will of God. Come on, give him praise. Hallelujah. You can't allow your mind the liberty to do what it is because I found out that your mind uh, is it, it, a, a hobo. It'll travel here, it'll go there, it, it, it wanders. Come on, give them praise. Like some of us are sitting in here right now, but your mind may be somewhere else. You may be sitting in our presence, but your mind it may be on the argument that you had, or, or maybe on uh, uh, some money that you're going to get. You may be looking at me, but your mind may be somewhere else. Well, you got to untie your mind and focus it on the will of God. Focus it on the, the fact that our days are numbered. Come on, give them praise. Hallelujah. He told these people to go to another place, go to another village. Sometimes we got to go out of our comfort zone. He said, go into the village over against you. Go to the village uh, uh, that you may not go to. Go into the areas that you're not familiar with. Sometimes he may send you down into the hood. You know, uh, the hood is a terrible place because, you know, I, how you know? Because I'm down here. Come on, give God praise. Amen. And I deal with our people, and I know our people can be rough to deal with. They are. You helping them on one end, and, and they trying to figure out a way to get you on the other end. Hallelujah. Come on, give him praise, somebody. Amen. But we got to understand that, that, that he may call us out of our comfort zone. Yes. He may call us to an area that we're not familiar with. Uh -huh. He may untie you from what you're doing. Sometimes he send an individual uh, to get you untied. I remember when I was uh, a young man, before I got saved, I was all tied up. Didn't have time uh, to go to the house of the Lord. Yes. Didn't have time because I was too wrapped up and tied up into what I wanted to do. Yeah. Yeah. But one day the word untangled me. Come on, give him praise. Some, somebody need to be untangled right now. Yes. Yes. Somebody is, is twisted in their mind. See, that's the, the uh, job of the enemy is to twist your mind up and get your mind into a position where you can't even think straight. Yeah. You ever been in, in that position? I remember at one time when I was uh, in school. I was in school studying for my doctorate degree. Uh -huh. And I was so bogged down with everything. I was working full time. 
I was going to school full time. I, I was pastoring. Come on, give God praise. And I was trying to, to be a, a father in my family. Look at all those things I was trying to do. And, and my mind had got so bogged down until I couldn't even think straight. That's how the enemy do. He'll throw anything and everything in uh, your life to make it to where you're distracted, yeah. to where you can't focus on what you need to focus. Right. You're wrapped up, tied up, tangled up with everything. You're trying to figure out the answer to this question and problems. You need to go visit somebody in the hospital. Uh, or somebody's got a problem they need to talk to you about or, or you got issues at home something broke down at the house and you got all these things in your mind Amen. wrapped up, tied up, tangled up but every now and then you got to break away from everything. everything that's what we need to do right now yeah. we need to break away from everything and, and, and seek the face of the most high Amen. come on give them some praise somebody how many need a blessing right now? Somebody haven't felt his presence in a long time. We need you right now. I, uh, the, the, the artist wrote the song, I need you now. We need help right now. Hallelujah. When, when the Lord sent for that uh, 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 donkey to come, he needed him. He needed him right then. He didn't, have, he didn't want nobody sending back no word talking about we, we can't send him. Oh, I can't come. You know, people got all kind of excuses. I can't come. I, I can't. I, I got something to do. Yeah. Well, the Lord got something for you to do. He want to use you, but you're all tied up. Yeah. He want to save you and give you a better life, but you're too tied up for him to come into your life. Oh, yeah. Come on, give him praise, somebody. Oh, uh, when it's time for you to move after the order of the Lord, it's time for you to move. Yeah. It's time for you to get stepping. Yeah. You know the old folk used to sing that song, you gotta move, yeah. you gotta move. Because when the Lord get ready for you, you got to move. move. You may be high, yeah. you may be low. Yeah. You may be rich, you may be poor. But when the Lord get ready for you, you got to move. Amen. So now is the time for us to untie ourselves. Yeah. Untie yourself from that thing that's holding you back from your praise. Yeah. Come on, give them praise, somebody. Yeah. Uh, people don't forgot how to praise him. Yeah. Do you remember how to praise him? Are you too tied up to praise him? Somebody ought to shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Oh, you don't forgot how to do it. Come on, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Say it like you mean it. Because, hallelujah. you know, when you praise the Lord, the enemy gets nervous. Yeah. When you praise him, he gets confused. So we got to get back to praising him. You got to get out of being tied up to where you can't praise him anymore. You can't clap your hands because your hands are tied up. You can't open your mouth because your mouth is wired up. Come on, give him praise, somebody. The Lord told him, go over to the village that you're not used to going to. And uh, you're going to see an ass tied up. Hallelujah. And a coat with them. See, sometimes you hold back others from being saved because you're tied up. You got family members that may want to come and give their life to the Lord. But because you are tied up and not willing to release, amen, and relinquish all of the things that, that you are bogged down with, you're hindering your family member. Yes, Just like myself, uh, being a father of the household, uh, uh, this thing trickled down to the family. Uh -huh. Come on, give God praise. Yes. I'm reminded that I got grandparents that got saved first, and then uh, my father got saved, and then I got saved. So it had to start somewhere in the family. Yes. Uh, right now, people are, are getting away from the house of God, getting away from praising, getting away from worshiping and finding other things to tie the time up. But my friend, uh, the most high want to use you, but you're all tied up. You need to untie yourself from bad habits. 
Come on, give them praise. Sometimes people got habits uh, that bog their mind down to where they can't uh, consecrate and give time to the Lord because of this habit that they got. Uh, I, I, I was talking to an individual, and he doesn't have much money, and I gave him a few dollars, hallelujah, because of his cry, because he didn't have any money. But come to find out, he'd take the money and go buy cigarettes. Come on, give God praise. I could have put that money or gave it to somebody else because you nailed an amen, nails in your coffin by smoking those things. Y'all don't hear me. Oh, come on, give him praise. Now, now I know, I know there's going to be a lot of people in hell that don't smoke. There's going to be a lot of people in hell that don't drink. There's going to be a lot of folks in hell that don't curse. But they was tied up in other things. Not drinking, not smoking does not give you, amen, the, the ticket to heaven. Come on, give God praise. Sometimes we got it all wrong. We think, because I don't drink, I don't smoke. Well, I know I'm going to heaven. No, that's not so necessarily so. You got to have, amen, the Lord at the first and the foremost in your life. Amen. He's got to be number one. You can't be tied down to a lot of this stuff in the world. Oh, glory. Let me move on. It says that if any man say aught unto you, ye shall say, the Lord have need of him. Yeah. So if anybody try to hinder you from praising and worshiping the Lord or try to keep you out of his house, yeah. you got to tell that person that I got business in the house of the Lord. Yeah. You know, sometimes friction come up in the household. Yeah. Oh, some, somebody in the household want a backslide. The husband may want to backslide. I'm tired of, of going to the church. So they begin to find all kind of reasons not to go because they're tired of living saved. Amen. But the Bible says uh, that he said, if, a, if any man say aught unto you, you say, the Lord have need of them. So the Lord needs you on your post. The Lord needs your voice. Uh, no voice like your voice. All of us got individual personalities that he want to use in his house. Come on, give him praise. There's too many souls out there that's on their way to hell, and you got all this power, all this Holy Ghost, and won't share it with nobody. Won't reach out and tell anybody or share with them what the Lord can do in their life. Uh, you have grown stale, amen, with, with witnessing and talking to people and telling people what thus said the Lord. Uh, how, how in the world are they going to know if you never tell them, if you never express what the Lord have done for you? Come on, give God some praise up in here. Uh, you just look back in your mind. Go back over your track record and check and see how many people have you witnessed to. How many people have you shared the word of God with? How many people have you told and warned of the coming days? Oh, I don't hear nobody. Oh, sometimes we grow weary because we're too tied up with friction. Too tied up with folk telling us a different thing. So now you're confused. Now you don't know what you want to do because somebody done tied your mind up. But my friend, let me tell you something. It's too late in the season to get tied up in this world. You got to wear this world like a loose garment. It's changing every day. What's strange to me, you know, they tell you that we're going through global warming. Didn't they say that? Well, why is it so cold? Well, amen, for a few days it was cold. And it's, it's snowing in different places. I thought you said it was global warming. Then in some places, the ice caps that they said was melting is rebuilding again. Let me tell you something. The Bible says that this earth is going to remain forever. But the devil will, will trick you and make you think that, that all of these things, amen, are going to, to, to uh, pass away, amen, and the earth is no longer going to exist, and you're going to go to heaven. But that's not so, not according to the word, because the Bible says that the tabernacle of God is with men. And where do men dwell? In the earth. Come on, give them praise. 
Oh, uh, so some people don't understand. Amen. They're too tied up in, in theologies, too th tied up, amen, in philosophies until where they don't have time to give it to the Lord. When the Bible says that the world is going to end, what that means is that the age is going to change. Not the world in and of itself. The structure of the world is going to be renovated. But the earth is going to remain. So we can't be tied up to this structure. We can't be tied up to this Babylonian system. Come on, give God some glory. God going to use you. But you're too tied up. You got to untie yourself. Well, how can I untie myself from all of these things that, that got me bogged down? You know, I have to con constantly talk to my own self. Every now and then, you're going to have to stop and talk to yourself. Tell yourself that you're going to behave. I'm living right. When I got ready to get saved, don't you know, I didn't have nobody to talk to but me. You can't be going and, and saying, what you going to do? You going to get saved with me? No, you got to make up your mind for yourself. Amen. You can't be tied to somebody else and think that that's going to get you in. You got to make your mind up for yourself. Because the Bible says we all shall stand before the judgment seat of Christ. You're going to stand individually for yourself. Amen. Bishop used to tell us, if husband don't go, you go. If wife don't go, you go. If children don't go, you go. Best friend don't go, you go. You got to make up in your mind. You can't be tied up with everything else and think that the Lord is going to bless you in your decision. You got to give him all or nothing. Somebody say all. He wants all of you. Somebody want to give the Lord their life. And have other things reserved. No, you got to give them all. You got to come all the way with him. He said that you're going to find uh, uh, this ass and the coat tied with him. And somebody, yeah, I ain't cursing. You got to hear me say, say ass, you know. Oh, pastor, that, that, that ain't the kind of ass I'm talking about. Come on, give God praise. Come on, give him glory. I'm talking about a donkey. Hallelujah. You know, you have to straighten it out because people there, see, I told you, he, he up there saying that. Come on, give God praise. Well, don't let the devil make a out of you. Come on, give him glory. Amen. You, you, you got to uh, allow the spirit of the Lord to, to rule and reign out of your life because the enemy, he will. He'll mess your life up. Yes. If you want to have a messed up life, turn it over to the devil. Yes, turn it up. He'll walk down the street with you, and you think everything is going good, and next thing you know, you tied up, uh -huh. bound and gagged. Well. Bound. They got, they got something, you know how people, when they hold them hostage, they put a uh, tie their mouth up. Amen. Where they can't say nothing. Uh -huh. Can't holler, can't scream. So people can't praise the Lord anymore because the enemy got them bound and gagged. Yes. You've been spending too much time with the enemy yes. until you can't praise him no more. Yes. And you don't feel energized any longer. Come on, give God praise. God want to use you, but you're too tied up to give him the praise. He want to use your hands, amen, to, to clap, but you're too tied up. But what I got to do to untie? Come on, give God praise. We got to untie ourselves. Come on, give God glory. Sometimes you can't untie yourself. That's why he sent somebody. Go to this village over against you. You're going to find uh, an ass in the coat with her. Tell the owner, tell the devil that the Lord got need of this soul. And straightway, he's going to send him. So when the Lord speak, can't nobody stop him. Come on, give God praise. Because the Lord got power to speak into your life. Where you at? If you bogged down with problems and habits, he can speak those things out of your life. If 
You got problems with your finances? He can speak that problem out of your life. Come on, give him praise, somebody. If you got problems in your relationship, now that's a twofold situation. Let me uh, slow down and talk because uh, you got two different personalities trying to cohabitate together. So somebody's got to make an adjustment. Come on, give them praise. Women are different from men. Women like to shop and buy stuff. Come on, give God praise. Even though they got a dozen of them already, they still want to, I, I like this one. This one a different color. Come on, give God praise. Men, they ain't thinking about all that. What not's on the shelf. Come on, give God praise. And all that kind of stuff. So men, they, they have a different a type of desire in their life. So now you got these two different kind of personalities that's got to cohabitate together. Sometimes you can make it and sometimes you can't. Come on, give God praise. If the person is not willing to make an adjustment, you're going to have some trouble. Where y'all at with me? Come on, somebody. You don't have to win no argument every time. Sometimes it's best for you to, to just go on over and sit down and be quiet. Where you at? Somebody tied up. When you marry, you together. You won. But every now and then, friction going to come in the house. Can I talk about it a little bit? Yeah. Every now and then, you're going to have friction. Yes, Lord. And you're going to have to understand that this is a different person from me. Sure is. I look at things different yeah. from what my wife do. Yeah. But guess what? That's by design. Yes, if both of us thought the same, what if both of us like to shop all the time? You will see us on probably on that program called Hoarders. You know what? You, you, you come in our house, we under a bunch of all piled up stuff. Where, bitch, where you at? I'm down here somewhere. Because you got so much stuff that y'all done bought. Come on, give God praise. So somebody got to have balance to say, okay, we ain't buying that. And we ain't buying it. We got five of them already. <laughs> Come on, give God praise. Amen. But this one different. I like, no, we ain't buying it. Amen. So the balance comes in. We can't be tied, amen, to, to your own personal desire that, that you can't change. You can't make an adjustment. Where y'all at? Y'all with me? Sometimes you got to stop. If you all want to do something and purchase something, you got to work on it together. If you want to get a car, you need to work on it together. But sometimes you can't work on it together. Because if a person got a, a, a wild spending habit, you got to put this money somewhere where they can't get it. Y'all don't want to talk to me. You got to put it somewhere where they can't get it. I knew a man that was a tyrant in his household, and he treated his wife all bad and everything, and she was saving the stash, and all of a sudden she bought a house and moved out. And pretty soon, now he nice. He want to get in that house. <laughs> he ain't no tyrant no more. So as soon as he get in the house, he become a tyrant again. Come on, give God praise. But she saved all her money, Doing day work. You know, back in the, I'm talking the olden days. Y'all don't know nothing about day work. <laughs> Ain't nothing but slave work. Come on, give God praise. She slaved and bought that house. And now, all of a sudden, he going to get nice to get in. Come on, give God glory. 
but some kind of way they stayed together. Two people got to want to stay together. If a, if a, a, a man don't want you, or if a woman don't want you, they don't, they don't, ain't no sense in you trying to make them want you. Come on, give God praise. Talking about, well, let me say something else. <laughs> if, if, if the woman don't want you, I don't care how many pairs of shoes you buy. She put the shoes on, and she's still looking over at that other man. Come on, give God praise. So at some particular time, you got to let some things go. If there's nothing to salvage there, and you done took it to God, leave it there with him. See, somebody got to be able to deal with some things in this life. Now, see, I've been married for a long time. I ain't got no, nowhere else to go. <laughs> Come on, get me. I'm too old to be trying to go out there and Try to start over. Come on, come These on. crazy folk you trying to figure out if, if she going to be right. Uh, what's in her mind? What's in her mind? And she being nice all the way up to the I do. And then on the wedding night, she turned into, I don't know what she turned into. Come on, give God praise. So I ain't got time for all of that. Take your time. Dealing with these folks in this last day, in this last hour. Don't get tied up in no relationship. If you just come out of a relationship, don't try to hurry up and get into another one. Come on, give God praise. Don't get in no relationship for sexual activity. That's the number one thing that the, the folk, you know, motivated. Uh -huh. Looking at that shape. Yeah. Come on, give God praise. Hallelujah. When you get married, she, uh -huh. now I know y'all done heard this, but she might have a Coca-Cola bottle shape. Uh -huh. But later on down the road, she got a two liter. Uh -huh. Stay right there with her. <laughs> Hallelujah. Bishop, I, I can't deal with it. She, she, she just got too big, man. Well, that, when, you, when you made those vows, you said for better, for worse. <laughs> now, what about now? Now, you got the Dunlap. Y'all don't know what that is. Yeah, yeah. Your belly done, done lapped over your, your belt. <laughs> but now, uh, uh, you got to stay with me, baby. But, but when she got big, you were ready to go. Y'all tied up. That's a union, you are one. I know y'all don't, don't like this part. You won. So you got to stay together if you can. If you can't, put it in the hands of the Lord. Come on, give God praise. Take your time if you're trying to uh, 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 get you another mate. Take your, take your time. Take your time. You got to be careful in this last day. Yeah. Amen. Don't fool around and have a little money. Uh -huh. They'll flock to you like, like white on rice. Sure I almost will. said something else. Like white on rice, they all around you because they think you got some money. Yes, they do. But you got to watch out for that because sometimes uh, uh, they'll ride up, uh -huh. shiny car, yeah. clean, right. look like they got everything going for them, but their whole house is in the trunk. Come on, give God praise. That's all they got. Come on, give God praise. Yeah, that's all they got. So don't, don't be fooled by that. Yeah. God want to use you 
But folks is all tied up. You're tied up in too many different things. Your mind. You got to free your mind to praise the Lord. Sometimes I have to get my mind straight because there's so many distractions going on. You can't even go online. You can't even be on, on uh, the, the Facebook. You, everything going all right, then all of a sudden, here you see some big booty woman, she coming up, up on the screen. And what you got to do with what I'm looking at? Move her out the way, and here come another. Just churn it all. I ain't, I ain't got time for it. There's too much mess. And folks, be, folks supposed to be saved. You see folks on there, and they're supposed to be saved. And they flaunt. Come on, give God praise. Tied up. You can't get tied up in this, this crazy world. It, it, it keep you from living holy. Come on, somebody. Whatever happened to holiness? You know, we came up in holy. Can I get a witness? Oh, y'all don't want to hear me now. You're talking about some stuff that... Uh, you know, you like to do. But I'm, just, I'm, I'm shedding them down on that. I don't agree with that. Hallelujah. But you got a wife. I don't, I don't want my wife on there flaunting around on, on, on Facebook. Do you? I don't hear nobody. God want to use you, but folks are too tied up. That's why marriages are failing in this last day. You got too much going on. You can't hang with no loose women, and you got a husband. You can't, you can't hang with brothers every time a, a, a woman go by. Ooh, they, ooh, man. They, they, every time somebody go by, they look. You can't hang with them if you want your marriage to work out. Yeah, come on, man, go with us. We going whole hopping today. You going to hop by yourself. Amen. Because that will mess your whole foundation up. See, I got too much invested. You know what I got invested? A holy life, first of all. My relationship with God, first of all. That, I don't want to lose that. Because that's hard to get back. And then what else you got? You got all of your possessions at stake. And you got some women, they try to bust up your home because their home was busted up. Or they man left them, so they got a grudge. and They want to mess up everybody else because they was messed up. Because misery, what? Love comes. I don't know how I got on this. Come on, give God praise. It must be needed. Somebody out there must be needing it. You got to learn how to deal with some things, both of you. Man and the woman got to learn how to deal, especially if you want to live saved. We come up in a, I'm so glad I came up like I did. I'm glad I got the teaching I got. I couldn't have made 43 years. Without that teaching. Amen. Come on, give them praise. You got to build one another up. You have to tell your wife she look good every now and then. Maybe you sure looking good. And she tell you, my wife, I don't know, she always telling me I look good. I said, say, my goodness. She lying to me or what, you know. You're just trying to make me feel good. What you trying to do? Uh, <laughs> hallelujah. So I don't have to worry about that. So, I, so if somebody else tell me that, it ain't going to my head. Because I, I know I ain't looking that good anyhow. So they, you ain't blowing my mind. Come on, give God praise. Hallelujah. The bottom line, you got to work on that thing. 
You got to talk to one another. And sometimes you need somebody else to talk to that got wisdom. Don't go to anybody talking to everybody about your problem. Next thing you know, everybody talking about it. You come to church and then soon as they look at you, you, they turn away. You look back at them and they turn away again. You know, well, somebody been talking about me and all that kind of stuff. Look at me all you want. I ain't worried about that. You turn and jerk away all you want. I, I'm going to still be the same me. Because I ain't got no skeletons that bad in my closet where, where I'm, I'm scared of what, how you looking at me. I'm trying to please the Lord. Come on, give them praise, somebody. If you're newlywed, let me stop and talk to the newlywed. You're going to have to make an adjustment. You're going to have to adjust to one another. I'm going to give God praise. Probably used to doing what you want to do. You stop off at McDonald's, you ate and going home, and you fooled and all that. And all now you you got about two now. You got it. <laughs> you got about something for the whole house. Come on, give them praise. That's if you are gonna do dinner. You can't go home and, and everybody hungry but you. Let me get out of here. I don't know why the Lord put me on marriage, but, but that's one of the main things that break up families. Or that's one of the main things that cause people to stray from the Lord, wanting to get married. Sometimes people want to get married, and, and uh, you want to get married for the wrong reason. Don't you know when you marry that person, you marry on everything that they got, all their problems. If they got financial problems, you marry that. If they got spending problems, you marry that. Everything they got, you take on. Come on, somebody. And vice versa. So that's why you got to pray. Talk to the Lord before you get tied up. Come on, give them praise. Especially if you you know, uh, uh, looking at somebody that, that years younger or something like that. Ain't nothing, ain't, ain't nothing that I could do with no real young woman at my age. Come on, give God praise. I'm over there ready to go to sleep. She looking over at me, breathing hard, mad. I'm tired, baby. You know, and she mad. Get up, stomping, boom, boom, boom. going in the next room. <laughs> Can I be truthful? <clears throat> I ain't got no business with no 21-year-old woman at my age. I, what I'm going to do with that? <laughs> she ready to go to the rodeo, and I'm ready to, to, to go... <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm ready to go to sleep. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, give God praise. <laughs> so you got to watch that age. You know, since you, you, you fantasizing, my brother, you fantasize. Hallelujah. So let's be real about this situation. And the next thing you know, you see her, she, she tired of you now. Come on, give God praise. I'm tired of suffering. I cannot talk to you like grown folks. Come on, give God praise. Hallelujah. Amen, amen. Now, now uh, uh, we at a time now where we got to be focused. Go over to this village, and you're going to find and ask with a coat with them. Yes. Loose them. Bring them unto me. Yes. We got to learn how to go out and witness to the lost. Yes. I think that's a lost art today. Where the soul winners at? <clears throat> what happened to them? 
Did the devil win you over? <laughs> Come on, give God praise. You got to have the spirit that wins souls. You got to be liberated yourself. If you're not free, you can't set nobody else free. And by the way, sheep beget sheep. Come on, give God praise. It's for you to go out and tell. You got family members that want to be saved. They're tied up. You need to loose them. How are you going to loose them? Loose them in your prayer. Get down on your knees and pray for them. And every now and then, pray for them right in their face. Lay hands on them and pray for them right there. You'll be surprised how convicting that can be. They get ready to go do something wrong. That prayer got them bound. They get ready to turn their back and say, I don't want to be saved. Now that prayer ringing in their ears. You'd be surprised the power that you got. Yes, and another thing, you got children. Those of you that got babies coming up, you need to download this into your children. Yes, you need to bring your children to the house of the Lord and train them up because there's all kind of traps out there Amen. set up for these children. Uh -huh. When they go to school, you got the teachers telling them, oh, son, you don't know whether you're a boy or a girl. You got to find that out. You're going to discover in this class that you don't know whether you're a boy or a girl. You got to discover. You got to venture off and to find out your gender. Now, what kind of mess is that that they're learning in school? So you got to teach them at home. You are a boy. I'm buying you a baseball bat. Come on, give God praise. I'm, I'm getting you some cowboy boots and a, a, a little gun. Come on. See, we play like that. You a girl, I'm going to buy you a doll. Boys ain't got no business playing with no doll, with no brush. Uh, 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 Come on, let me feed you. No. You a boy. Boy, you buy him some marbles. Oh, they don't shoot marbles no more. <laughs> you got to do this. You got to teach your children their gender. Because if you don't do it, they're going to do it at the school. All right, uh, uh, all the boys are wearing dresses to school tomorrow. This is venturing off day tomorrow. Come with a dress. Girls, <laughs> you'd be surprised what they're doing. They bring a person into the school and dressed up in drag, reading classes. A burly man dressed up in drag, reading to the children. Tied up. This thing is tied up. Somebody got to loose it. Come on, give God praise. I don't want my boys walk, walking around and talking all soft and giggling and going on. No, you a boy. Straighten up. Put some bass in your voice. Come on, give God praise. Straighten your hand out. Your hand ain't supposed to be that flimsy. Come on, give God praise, y'all. No, I'm serious. Stand up straight. Be a man. Start, start being a man now. Why are you a boy? Oh, young man. You guys, you got to have something to put in these children because they're trying to mess them up. They're trying to tie them up. And then when they get to an age, they don't know how to break a loose. Got enough stuff going on. Amen. Don't be sending your kids all over the place talking about spending the night with folks, sleepovers, and all that kind of stuff. Can't do that these days. These are some bad days. You're sending your daughters over to sleepover, you don't know who they're sleeping over with. 
Come on, give God praise. I know y'all ain't used to hearing this kind of message. But I approve this message. You can't be sending your kids over to everybody. You know they got some waywardness in that house. Don't send your kids over there. You go over there with them. Sit down with them. All right, it's time to go home. Come on, let's go. Because it's too risky. They'll get tied up into that, and you will never be able to get it out of it. Where y'all at? I know y'all y'all don't like me no more. But this is this need this needs to be said. These things need to be said. You ain't gonna hear this at, over every pulpit. Because some people got rainbows over the entryway of the church. Pastor, he a little slippery. <laughs> Come on, give God praise. Pastor ain't quite right. He got a wife, but she ain't right either. Come on, give God praise. And guess what? I found out something. When you got houses like that, people flock to those places in droves. They don't want to hear nothing like this. Oh, no. Oh, they, they sit up in this be looking at me like this, sideways. They turn themselves like this. They don't want to hear that. Because of that spirit down in them. Sometimes you can read them spirits. Just let me keep talking to you. It's coming out. I'm pulling it out of you. Don't you want that spirit out? All right. You're going to wish for this kind of teaching later on. Because when the Antichrist comes, he's going to come in the form of homosexual. That's why you see so much of it going on in the world now. Because his desire is not going to be to a woman. They're working on this thing. This, this spirit is tied up in the world. So that's why you got to lose yourself from the world. The Bible says, come ye out from among them. Be ye separate. Said the Lord. Y'all forgot this was a holiness church? Don't y'all know holiness churches preach this? Y'all forgot? Come on, give him praise. All right. Now, now we can shout. Now we can dance. Now you set free. You, you ain't free until you hear the word. You, you got to go home with something that's going to trouble you, that's going to deal with you, and get you to the place where you can live acceptable. The Bible says, I present, amen, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercy of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable servant. So you got to hear something to become holy. Amen. All right, let me, let me stop. Y'all look like y'all. You know how the dog look at the gate like this? Y'all looking at me like that. <laughs> what is he talking about? I'm talking about holiness. We got to untie ourselves. From this world. Come on, give God praise. You want your household to work? You want your marriage to work? If you want your children, amen, in alignment with the word, sometimes you can give your children subtle warnings. Uh, baby, I don't know if that's the right person for you. Because you can't be too dogmatic with them because they're going to get upset with you. So you just give them a, a subtle warning. Yeah. I don't think that's, that's going to work. Yeah. Then leave it alone. Because nobody wants another person in the midst of their relationship. Yeah. Come on, give them praise. Hallelujah. But if I give you a warning, it's like anybody want to get married. Uh, Y'all come to me. 
Let me talk to you. Let me meet that person. Sometimes they want the person that they want to marry, they won't even come. Because they feel the spirit before they get there. No, I don't think I want to come and talk. Because they know they got the wrong spirit. And when they get in front of me, I want to discern. No, this spirit ain't right. You come and sit up under the word. And when you sit, if you can't sit up under the word, come on, give God praise. Because your life is at stake. I've been married 40 some years. That's a long time, man. Everything ain't been a flower bed of ease. But two people got to decide that we're going to do this thing. Come on, give God praise. All right. Let me stop. Somebody getting, <laughs> getting tired, you know. You, I guess I done beat you down so bad. <laughs> okay, Bishop. Okay. Hallelujah. No, no, I want you to, to be built up. Amen. Because the word ain't going to be soft and tender. Oh, Your testing and trial in that relationship ain't going to be soft and tender. Amen. It's going to give you some runaround. Amen. Somebody might be in your honeymoon right now. Honeymoon don't last too long. Right. Pretty soon the honey run out. Huh. You can't see nothing but the moon. Come on, give God praise. Midnight. Hallelujah. Darkness. Come on, give him praise. I'm going to let y'all alone. Let y'all go. God want to use you. But you're all tied up. Go down in prayer and loose. And if any man say all, tell them the Lord have need of. Anybody got a word against you living for him, say the Lord got need. I, I, I got to give my life to the Lord. Yeah. I ain't got time to fool with all this stuff out here. Amen. You got some crazy stuff going on out here. You, you, you got these things right here. You got to be careful with these. Folk that got married off of these dating, dating sites. I'm going to I'm going to, to, to Dakota. I met somebody online. Get to Dakota, you you got Dakota all right. A decoded demon. Come on, give God praise. All right, let me stop. Y'all 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 getting tired of me now. <laughs> but look over and tell somebody God want to use you so don't get tired of don't get tired of because he want to use you and we can't get tired of alright now we want y'all to go back to the drawing board and reinitiate your evangelistic tools break them out because it ain't much time before the Lord going to come and end this whole thing. It ain't gone. Y'all hear me? It's not going to be long. The Lord going to end this whole thing. And those of us that's prepared, you can go with a smile on your face. For those that are not, you're going to be like the five foolish virgins. Open unto us. And he say, I know you not. What you doing at my door? Get out in front of my door. I don't know you. I'm going to give God praise. Hallelujah. That's all I have for you today. God want to use you. So don't get tied up. That's all I have. I'm going to give him praise. Hallelujah. We thank the Lord for, um, we got a newlyweds here. With a new addition to the family. Amen. And in the lower level, they're going to have a little celebration down there, and everybody's invited Amen. to go down to fellowship. Yes, 
with them. But before that, we're going to call on any announcements. Does anybody have any announcements? Hallelujah. Sister Shandon. 